that is it guys yeah time for another adventure to vienna this time yeah and gives a super minimalist that's all he brought <laughs> wow well, my, going... <laughs> my bag is completely full of crap i ordered from amazon while i was here <laughs> then you're gonna take it back to ukraine I know. Them. It's, yeah mostly full of uh chocolate centered mints <laughs> all this time we ordered stuff we ate we edit videos it was fun <laughs> yeah it was a perfect two weeks guys i gotta see noah i gotta see hangin and Vienna again see yeah. the family yeah it was absolutely perfect and a bit cold oh sorry <laughs> lena was right <laughs> she said take some more stuff and you'll be cold yeah right now i'll be okay yeah. hey, bye -bye. <laughs> Here's my bus, guys. Let's go down. All right, so it was an eight euro bus ride. We go to the train station. All right, it's a little bit confusing because I need to go to Grangekirchen City, but this was Grangekirchen Bad Hall, which is the train station, and I need to catch a train. So I assumed it was here. Luckily, I asked the driver, and he said, no, it's another 40 minutes that way. Oh, you, you don't. You have no idea. I met a new friend <laughs> in Austria. How do you say nice to meet you? Freud mich dich zu treffen. Freud mich dich zu treffen. Freud mich zu treffen. Freud mich And the other one you taught me? Freud mich. Freud, no, no, before. Freud mich dich zu treffen. Freud mich zu treffen. <laughs> oh god, it's so hard. And what about in like uh, German German? Um, es freut mich dich zu treffen. Me. Guys, why is German so hard? Like, it's like the most difficult language I know. Uh, the train counts. Oh. Beautiful. Das wunderbar. <laughs> <laughs> It's fantastic. We are in Linz and we need to transfer to the West Bond. So we've arrived in Linz, but now we need to transfer to a different line called the West Bond, which goes to Vienna. I think there are two different train systems. Alright, let's check. 1035 Wine West 8 AC. But you know what? We have a few minutes. We have a uh, 15 minutes. Let's go get a coffee or some breakfast first. If this was another country, I wouldn't risk it. But Austria seems very efficient. I normally would go to McDonald's. But since we're in Austria, you might get a local bakery. Because it's so much better. You know what? It takes a lot for me to not get McDonald's, which means Austrian bread must be really good. And it is. Now it's super fast. So now to Terminal 12. I still don't know what the difference between Westbahn and the other way it is, but let's see. Okay. West AB. So while I was on the train coming here, I read some news about the attacks in Kyiv this morning. Uh, I don't know when this video is going to come out, but one of the reasons why I've been uh, out of the country for so long is I've been waiting for some documents for my permanent residency, and I need to go to the, the embassy to get it. And today is my day I'm going to the Vienna embassy, but today is also the day the center of Kyiv has been attacked by Russia. Uh, we're going to begin with that breaking news we mentioned off the top from Ukraine, where deadly Russian attacks forced civilians to run for their lives this morning in the capital city of Kyiv, as multiple blasts ripped apart busy neighborhoods. 
Photographers captured these images on your screen now of a so-called suicide drone. It's an unmanned aircraft which is designed to explode on impact. For the second time this month, city streets in the center of Ukraine's capital have been pummeled. Russia's repeatedly denied targeting civilians, but this neighborhood is jam-packed with apartment buildings, schools and restaurants. Ukraine says the Russians used so-called suicide drones, which explode on impact, causing devastation. Russia's losing this war that they started, and they don't really see what they can do besides attack and bomb civilian places, including the pedestrian bridge, which is literally a glass bridge that only people walk over. There's definitely no military use for that. It's like, imagine your tourist bridge that's made from glass so you can see down. They bombed the uh, Philharmonic, which is our kind of classical music hall. Definitely a civilian infrastructure, museums and apartment buildings. And they attacked during rush hour and killed a bunch of people commuting to work. Russia is a terrorist state. They're, they're, this isn't war, this is terrorism. You can't, you know, retaliate by bombing civilian infrastructure, historical landmarks, museums, and pedestrian bridges. Like, if you want to destroy a military target, if you want to fight in the front, that's one thing. But just going after civilians and just terrorizing people, that's literally terrorism. And the fact that Russia has resorted to this is very scary. You know, we all knew that they were going to do something. Uh, for those who don't understand the significance of the Kerch Bridge, the Crimean Bridge, that was a bridge that they had to build after they annexed or stole Crimea because Crimea is not part of Russia. They had to build a really expensive land bridge to connect it so they can get people and supplies over. Now they're using it to supply uh, Crimea with tanks and ammo and other military you know, uses. So it is a bit scary that I'm going to get my visa today. I was supposed to go back straight after. I have to ask these guys because this train is also going to Vienna, but it's a rail jet and we're waiting for the West Bond. All right, so I just asked this local Austrian guy what the difference is between the two. So it turns out OBB is partially government owned, while WestJet, the one we're going on, is a private company uh, and they're competing against each other. So when you go on the website, they push the OBB, but the West Bond is just as fast. They just arrive two minutes later uh, it's actually arriving right now so you have choices guys and they also get drop you off at different stations mine drops off at the west station while the other one is at the center of the main station so it depends where your hotel is and mine is actually close to the west station morgan westbond he said that this one only has more seats too it's less crowded Now we need to take the U6 bus to the hotel. Wow, right away you see these huge windows, beautiful church. It's gorgeous. 
So you just met a Vien Viennese guy. Yeah. You, you call yourself that? Uh, yeah, we call ourselves Viennese. We're Austrian people. Okay. okay. And are you from uh, uh, Vienna? Uh, I'm from Upper Austria. Oh, I just came from there. Oh, really? From cool. near um, Wells? Linz? Ah, Wells, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not from where I come from. So. Okay. But nice place. But now, we're in the big city. You're like, wow. Yeah, what are you doing here? Uh, I came to get a visa, actually, ah, okay, but... Cool. Yeah, I've, uh, I'm excited. Is there any, like, must-see places while I'm here? Uh, yeah, definitely. You have to go to uh, Hofburg. Is that the palace? Uh, yes, it's, uh, uh, it's okay. not Trimbrun. Trimbrun is a bit... Uh, yeah, it's another district, but just visit the center. It's wonderful. There's the yeah. cathedral and everything. Is it really worth paying the money to go inside the places? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. yeah really, nice. okay. really into architecture. And yeah. Something like that. You really have to do this. Okay. Thank you. 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 You mix them up. And uh, yeah, so far, it's very nice. And I think this is my U Bon here, the U line. I need U6. Here we go, guys. West Bon Hoff U6. Easy. Get myself a little bliet as well. One ticket is two euro forty. A seventy-two hour ticket is seventeen euro. And a weekly ticket is also seventeen euro. That's strange. I don't know how often I'll be taking it. I think I'll be taking it quite often. At least twice a day. I should probably get a weekly ticket. Seventeen euro guys, it's a lot. Stop messing around. It's good for six days. Do I need a do something or no? Probably not. I think I could just go. I don't know why I assumed it was a bus, but train to Metro. And then you go to U6 Floresdorf. Here we go. Here's my first Viennese Metro. It's like all the people for every 12 o'clock on a Monday. Guys, this is gonna be my hood the next few days. Not too shabby. There are speedy rooms. Probably the smallest hotel in all of Austria. Guten Tag. Where are we? Vienna. We are in Vienna, guys. And what am I holding in my hand? A uh, permit for a residency in Ukraine. Permanent residency. Yeah. So now we're going to go to the Ukrainian embassy and hope we can convert this piece of paper to an actual card, to an actual visa. Yeah, let's go. So we are just outside the center of Kiev, and we're going to take the bus there. It's a beautiful spot. We have a nice market here with fruits. I like that there's prices on everything. Hello. And it's someone's 70th birthday. Wow. It's your 70th birthday. 7 0. <laughs> wow. It's really a nice market. I think it's like a Turkish market. Here's our bus stop. So, while we wait for our train to 
Here's your time, time to introduce Lisa from Kriviri. Yeah, but currently living in Vienna. Yeah, because uh, Putin is a dickhead. Put the hold She's actually been in my video before. Where? In uh, Budapest. I dropped you and your mom at the train station. Yes, yes, true. Yeah. And after that, she's the subtitles. So all the translations, <laughs> you could say Diakuyu to Lisa. Yeah. Diakuyu Lisa. With Laska. Yeah. Okay. It's not ours, but for too long. Oh. See, luckily, <laughs> you're here because without you, I'd be on the wrong tram. Yeah. But look. It doesn't make sense because 41 is below 40. So ours should have came first. I don't know. Shizen. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. She just crashed right into the wall. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, because it says 40 on it. <laughs> Very clever. Lisa, this one is ours. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> uh, less people too. And a nicer train. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. But well, we got off to print out a document. And it is... Yeah. Somewhere exactly here. Okay, I see. Yeah. And Druk. If you ever wonder why these coffee shops are still in business when everything is digital, it's because bureaucracy. Welcome to the underground tunnel. You know, in America, our coffee shops are also always underground. And just page one. Okay, so we were just talking about what people are printing nowadays. So that couple is printing the resume. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like I I did that 10, 20 years ago in the US. Now everything's online. And you're saying that in Austria, you also need to send like a letter of motivation. Yeah, it's called the here uh -huh. and you need it for every job. Even for like a simple job. Even for like to be a waiter, you need a motivation letter. And like what kind of motivation would you have? Uh, I would like to be a waiter. So I don't, so I can pay my bills and I don't need to sleep on the street and starve. Yeah. <laughs> Please hire me. <laughs> Danke schön. <laughs> yeah. Passport photos. <laughs> but... How is it? It's oh. ours. Oh, no, perfect timing. Let's go. <laughs> 15 euros for two ugly photos. Welcome to Austria. And we somehow met the same girl. <laughs> How crazy is that? We went to like two different shops. And we got back on the same tram. For you dog owners out there, I've learned a fun fact about Vienna. Dogs are allowed, but they need a doggy ticket. Yes, one euro twenty cents for a dog. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Yeah. If your dog doesn't have a ticket, you get fined. When well, the dog gets fined, I guess. True. We're looking at this beautiful building that's covered, absolutely covered. But all these buildings are beautiful. I think in general. Vienna, but also Austria just has really nice architecture. It's sad because 
some of the style we have it in Ukraine. Yeah. It's just not well taken care of. It's like we need a power washer after the war, of course. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe it's this one. Right in front of us. The beautiful one. No, it's ours. For real? Wow. I'm shocked. Me too, actually. I didn't think it was. What does it say? In, uh, in Austria. Wow, it's beautiful. I'm shocked too, actually, to be honest. Beautiful. I saw the flag. Botskraft de Ukraine in the Republic of Austria. Welcome home. All right. Concert of Ukraine, guys. All right, guys. So we made it into the Ukrainian embassy, uh, and they're very nice, very, very like, nice. But unfortunately, their systems are down across the world, not just here. I think it's probably hacked by Russia. So I'm not going to be able to go for at least they say maybe one or two weeks. So I'm not going to stick around. I won't stick around Vienna. I definitely won't stick around Vienna because it's expensive, but yeah, let's see. So there's a demonstration here. I'm a, a little bit afraid if you open the door, they're going to rush in. So you go first and I'll close the door behind oh, us. Wow. So, so I can close the door. But we're going to go to a peaceful demonstration after this. Hello. Hello, Slava. Uh, you're going to Russian embassy? Yes. yes. Uh, we will join. Okay, we will join you. Uh, you may join us here. Yeah? Okay. No. What are you doing now? So he's putting up the masking that the Ukrainian army as a symbol of Ukraine being attacked. And now it's a small group, but I'm sure there's going to be many more coming uh, Today. So this flag is from the Free Chechnyan Republics that Russia also is occupied. So we have Chechnyans, Ukrainians, everybody against uh, Russia. So I'm not sure actually why they started at the Ukrainian embassy. Uh, I think uh, they're going to go protest at the Russian embassy. I'm not sure actually what they're doing here. I think at first they're just making a, a sign uh, where are they, where are they going? yeah to make sure everyone's being peaceful this like pro-russian woman showed up and she accused everyone here of being paid to uh, to protest and i'm like is she insane like no one's getting paid like especially not me so now the police have to go protect her